Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. It has been a while since I've done a video, 14 days, but I apologize for that. I've been doing 12 hour shifts. It's been a long day. Um, but anyway, this I saw pop up yesterday and I was planning to make a video and I wanted to do something cool, an earthquake simulator. I mean, that sounds cool. Um, so let's go ahead and check this one out. So what it does is it can ragdoll players and other peds, apply force to vehicles. Um, it is a command to trigger an earthquake camera shaking all of this good stuff so i can play this so you can see it affects ai and everything it knocks over um different items i think it's pretty cool i live in california i live in la actually and we have earthquakes all the time so this is pretty cool so anyway it is linked over on github there is documentation to this as well so if you want to read over the documentation you can do that it just goes over the performance and all of that um, how to install it and all the commands required and everything so if you're interested if this site ever loads um, then there you go. So let's go ahead and get started with this. So in order to download and install it, you just go to the release page here on GitHub, which I'll link in the description. Or if I link this page, just click this download here and then click the zip file. That's very simple, very easy. There's nothing much you have to do on that side in here. You can see there's a server client, readme, FX manifest config. So you're going to go to wherever your resources are located. For me, it's my server data resources folder and just drag in this overall folder, the earthquake um, simulator folder. Very simple. You're gonna go in here, read the README to make sure you understand exactly what you're getting into. It goes over the features, it goes over the support, it goes over their documentation link again, all that's available there. You have a config.lula, you can edit this with Notepad or Notepad++ in here. It goes over what your camera shape should be, the intensity, your ragdoll chance as a player, how long that should be, how long you should be in recovery for that. Same with the ped ragdoll for all of the AI peds. So pretty simple um, documentation there, nothing crazy required. Then all you have to do is add this to your server.cfg. So I'm gonna rename this, go into my server data, server.cfg, edit with notepad++. And where the rest of these resources are being started, I'm going to add ensure the name of the resource, in this case, earthquake simulator, and save this file. Now, when we go ahead and start up our server, we're just gonna check this console to make sure there's no big red errors, because if there's big red error, then um, that will say, hey, something's wrong. But in this case, we don't. We see started resource, earthquake simulator. We know we are good to go. Let's hop in game and check it out. All right, so after 20 minutes of trying to update 5M and failing and finally getting in on the 20th try, I am here. And this is the command we are going to be doing today. It's gonna to be slash EQ, fourth frequency direction and seed. Technically, all you need is slash EQ because everything else actually defaults to its own um, settings. So you just have to type slash EQ and an earthquake starts. Um, so we're going to go find a place to stand for this earthquake. And in real life, you wouldn't want to be anywhere near downtown. But for the case of this video, we're going to go straight to downtown and stand uh, probably near the park, if I'm going to remember correctly, because I think this is probably going to be a good place to kind of showcase this a bit because there's going to be people walking around and everything else. So we are in game here. All right, let's go ahead and get this started. We're going to type slash EQ. And there we go. The earthquake has started. So we are rocking around here. The camera's rocking around. This seems to be a low magnitude. I'm having some trouble walking there, you could see. Um, but everybody seems to be doing okay. It's not that bad of an earthquake. We're just kind of rocking around. Pretty cool. I like it. Very cool. I wonder what happens if we type it again. So if you type it again, it will then stop the earthquake. Okay, that's pretty cool. And you can see there, the, like, the trash can's shaking around a little bit. So you can see some of the props are shaking around. Uh, you got, let's check this area. Oh, did not want to go through the floor there. Uh, you can see that person actually ragdolled. I ragdolled a little bit right there. The cones are moving around and shaking around. That guy's hiding. All the bags are moving around. So it's a pretty cool resource. I mean, if you ever wanted a earthquake in your server, now you have, and that guy fell down. Um, so now you have an earthquake. Um, so yeah, if you want to use this, link is in the top of the description. I promise I will be back soon with more videos. I'm working on one uh, with the one in studio script and everything. So more coming very soon. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one.